Hey guys, here's a quickie on how to build your first airplane and main assembly. This is beta version 1469. Let's do it. Click on play, sandbox. We're going to choose flat land. This will give us a big open area to test our airplane. I'll press B for build and give you a preview of the airplane we're going to build today. We're going to hit tab to open up the catalog. Go to bots, top left. Click on Start New Bot. There's three types of movements we might make. The first is going to be a stretch where you grab a frame and just stretch that original frame. If you hold control while you stretch a frame, this is called extrusions. And you'll see it leaves the original frame and you get a new frame as well. If you hold Alt, this is bending. You'll see that the handles move from the corners to the center of the frames and you can make these cool curves and contours. And we'll get to do this at the end of this video. I'm gonna hit Control Z a couple times to get back to the new bot. We're gonna begin by just stretching this first frame out 30 centimeters. The rest of the airplane is gonna be built using extrusions. So we're going to extrude out 20 for the landing gear. 15 down. This is the firewall where we will mount the motor. To begin the wings, I'm just going to make a 10 centimeter extrusion and I want my wings to be all one piece. And this handle is in the way so I can either highlight it here with my mouse and hit the delete key or just hold your right mouse button down. I'll recreate this frame with an extrusion holding control while I drag from one handle to the other. I need some material here, so I'm going to extrude back towards the center. As I hover over this, you'll see the second item in the tooltip says this is reinforced plastic, which is not good for planes. So we're going to change this by hitting tab to go back to the catalog. On the top right, choose materials, light and aeroplastic. Use this hammer and just whack on all the blocks to turn them into aeroplastic. Hopefully they will stay that way. To continue the wings, we are going to extrude out 150. I'm gonna need a place to put my aileron hinges, so we'll do another extrusion for 10. We'll extrude the body of the airplane out 100. The tail section is going to be 40. We'll do another 40 for the elevator. We'll do 40 up for the rudder. I'm just going to grab this top frame and lean it out a little bit because I think it looks cool. We'll do the landing gear next by extruding down 50. Let's lean this out, similar to what we did to the tail there, by grabbing this frame and dragging outward. We'll set this at 50 as well. To save it a little weight, I'm going to drag this handle to 10 centimeters. We'll extrude a 10 centimeter block so we have a place to place the motor. And we'll go ahead and grab that now. We'll use a small motor or the landing gear and we'll put one on the firewall but at the very bottom. The reason we put this motor at the bottom of the firewall is we want the thrust of the engine to be below the drag that the wing will create. This will help during takeoff to pull the plane into the air. We'll go back into the catalog with tab under thrust and grab a small propeller. Under wheels, we're going to use these tiny wheels for the landing gear. Now I'm going to get some hinges. They are in the catalog under mechanical. Place one in the back center. We're also placing one in the center of the wing. And to help find the center of the wing, I'm going to hold Alt temporarily and use this handle to help me line up this hinge. 
When you place a hinge, mirror mode is on by default, and you'll see that the other hinge was placed on the other side, and we don't need that, so I'm going to remove mirror mode by hovering over this hinge and pressing M. You'll see the other hinge disappeared. We'll manually place this other hinge using Alt to find the center of the wing. Don't forget to turn the mirror mode off on this hinge as well. You'll see it glowing orange in the background until I hit M. It disappeared. Now we just need to open the catalog and we're going to look under chassis and find some aeroplastic plates. We're going to place one on the bottom of each of these hinges. Now we'll extrude these hinges for the ailerons. I'll have to right click here to exit frame mode so I can work with a different frame. Uh, that needed to be an extrusion. And you'll see I've mislocated my hinge, but that's no problem. You can just grab the hinge. Replace it. We will extrude out the elevator. That looks good. Now we're going to press P. This is going to open the program menu. Let's delete these tiles and we'll just start fresh. I'm going to go to my parts menu and you'll see as I hover over each of these the camera view changes. I'll keep doing this until I get to the engine and we'll use this pencil icon to rename them. This is going to be the left aileron. Elevator. The wheels. This would be a good time to take note. As you remember, when we placed the wheels, mirror mode was on. And so they're only listed under the parts once. While these hinges are listed individually. The right aileron. And the reason we did that, I'll show you right now. We're going to take the left aileron rotate connect it to the DNA input. We'll take the right aileron rotate and generate a new input tile by clicking here and dragging out. We'll connect them and we'll just label the inputs reverse of what these are. This one was D and A, so we'll set this to A and D. We'll go back into the parts, find the engine, pull the power out and connect it to the spacebar. And that leaves the elevator rotate, which will connect to WNS. If you need to disconnect one of these, you can take it and just kind of shake them and they will disconnect. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit enter to print this robot. And I can tell already I'm looking at the tail section and it's gray. So I'm going to hit B to go back into the build menu and double check. Yep, this is reinforced plastic, and I'm not falling for this. I'm going to go back into the materials, grab this hammer, and whack these tiles again. Make sure everything is light as possible. Hit Enter. Print the plane. Here we go. All right. It's looking good. We'll land here. We'll make an adjustment. I'm going to hit B to go back into the build menu and show you my favorite feature. In main assembly, they allow you to bend tiles, and that's what we're going to do now by holding Alt. We're going to bend these wings. I'm going to do the same to the outside edge. Do this five centimeters. This creates an airfoil shape, and the developers have done an awesome job of programming aerodynamics into this game. And you'll see now, the airplane generates a lot more lift. 
Yes, flies much better. Okay, bring it in for landing. Oh yeah, this looks good. Awesome. And that is your quickie for building your first airplane and main assembly. If your plane won't fly, remember to check two things. Hop out, make sure that everything is set to aeroplastic, and keeping your motor below the height of the wings seems to help during takeoffs. If your plane just spins around in circles, you can try widening the wheel stance. I think I'll upload this plane to the Steam Workshop. It's going to be called Quickie's First Airplane. I'll make another video that's not a quickie where we spend some time trying to make it perform better, maybe paint it, so check it out. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.